एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट अवर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई होप दैट यू नो इफ यू विल वॉच द वीडियो टिल द वेरी एंड यू विल बी एबल टू यू नो गेट अ लॉट ऑफ इंसाइटफुल कंटेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू मैथ्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू हाउ द टेक्सट जनरेशन विल हैपन राइट देर आर लॉट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स विच वी यूजली सी नाउ अ डेज अ लॉट ऑफ रियल लाइफ एप्लीकेशन आर देव how it is going to happen let's try to understand that part pretty well okay so let's get started with the concept of gpt2 gpt2 first of all anyone can tell me just pause the video what is the full form of gpt let's talk about what is the full form of gpt it's a generator pre trained transformer right this is the full form of a gpt and obviously to understand a lot in depth towards this concept you should have a clear cut idea about the transformer architecture specifically the decoder architecture in the transformer you should be clearly aware of but in today's session i will not go in that much depth towards that part if you want you can just let me know but i just want to focus on that how the text generation usually happen and just wait for a moment at the very end i will do the implementation as well with whatsoever concepts i'm talking about here right generator pre trained transformer so one thing is very sure that the transformer uh, concept is uh, you know is the prerequisite to understand this video what is the meaning of pre trained so when someone is saying it's a pre trained model what is the meaning of that that a lot of you know corpus i would say already been trained for example uh, when we will be discussing any deep learning neural based network what we usually have we usually have the hidden layers right we usually have some sort of parameters and when we say that the model is trained what we want to say we want to say that we will be having the updated weights for which the prediction is quite accurate for which we will be having a maximum accuracy can i say so we will be having a weights w11 w12 and there is a concept of feed forward and there is a concept of backward propagation and when we do the backward propagation we used to update the weights according to the target value so the difference between y and y cap y cap is the prediction and y is the target one and what we want is we always want this particular error to be as minimum as possible and because of that we used to apply a you know a lot of uh, you know feed forward and back propagation thing will happen gradient descent concept will come into picture which is a optimizer so all these all these things i hope everyone is pretty much aware about similarly in a pre trained model we used to have a big corpus where a model is already trained right so it's gpt2 is a pre trained model i can say which is trained on specifically i would say 1.5 billion parameters 1.5 billion parameters are there right and on a data data set of 8 million web pages now you can imagine how big the size is right web pages so this is the data set size in a gpt2 now whatsoever text generation task you you guys are seeing nowadays all is done with the help of this big corpus gpt2 model pre trained model right now what is usually happening internally on a broad, on a broader scale if i'll talk about for example if i am saying that uh, you know um, i love reading now suppose the next line, next word was novel so on a corpus on a on a bigger data set which particular you know word would be the next no, word which this, this is something which is a target word which i would say is why and what we usually do is that internally a tokenization is happening internally there is a embedding which is happening to convert every you know uh character that we have to a numeric number to a numeric id and we will be having a separate tokens for that 
so maybe i is having some specific number 92 love is having maybe some specific number 104 reading is having some specific number 156 so the value is the the problem statement is here we apply the concept of conditional probability i would say now i hope everyone is aware about the concept of conditional probability where what we have to find out is we have to find out what is the probability of y which is the target value means what should be the next word that should come after i love reading given the value of for example this is x1 feature this is x2 token this is x3 token given the value of x1 x2 and x3 now whichever word is having a higher probability that particular word will be kept here now how will i be i be or my model will be able to decide that which particular word is having a higher probability that has already been done by the a huge corpus on the on the basis of which we have trained our model so here the concept of conditional probability plays a very important role in order to predict that what should be the next upcoming you know word that we have on the basis of the previous tokens that we are having that is the real important concept so whichever is having a higher probability so obviously at the very end so initially there are two steps in gpt2 the very first step is that there is a unsupervised pre training happen where we will be having a statements lines right and we usually try to find out this is the likelihood that we have the probability of y given the value of x1 x2 and x3 and x4 and so on the tokens that we have so in this way we will try to get a loss function we want to you know we will be able to get a loss function where we will be having a minimum error the difference between the value of y and y cap is lower and after that once we will be having the target values of every particular lines that we have we try to apply a supervised fine tuning meaning on our data we want to see that which particular word fits the best it's something which we call as fine tuning right these are the two core concepts that are the basis for this particular gpt2 model or architecture now how we can do this implementation i'll just try to show you once so here i have opened the google collab what i will do is that because now as i told you that transformer is something which is there and which plays a pretty much important role now what usually happened is as i clearly explained to you all that for example if i if i have written some some line first of all we need to convert that particular line to tokens which contains a numeric ids which contains a numeric ids so let me try to just directly show you what will happen here so we will try to encode a sentence to tokens using tokenizer so that, that that is the very first task that we have so for that we need to first of all install the transformer so what i can do i can just change the run time to gpu right and uh, i hope it is fine i think it is done uh, no let me save it and now what i will do is that let it connect in a meal while i'll write the statement because we need to you know first of all install the transformers here to generate our text okay once it is done so we will just install that once the installation will be done now from transformer what we want from transformers we need to import two things one is the gpt2 tokenizer which will tokenize my sentence and convert it into a numeric ids so gp2 tokenizer and another one is the pre trained model that we have with the help of which we will be able to generate the text and the name is gp t2 l m head model i hope the syntax is correct let's see otherwise we will be able to get some error okay perfectly fine now the what is the very first task which i show, told you that first of all we need to the very first thing i want to convert the sentences into the tokens right this is the very first thing which i really want to do here so what i will do here is what i will do here is let me just give me one second yeah 
I think it is fine. I was just checking that whether recording is happening properly or not. Perfect. So now what we want is that we want to tokenize it. So we will say tokenizer is equals to what is the name of GP2 T2 tokenizer dot the function name is from dot pre-trained and here we need to specifically mention. So let me just open for you all. Let me just first of all write it GP2 large. So here we also have this architectures now. If I'll just show you what is just like in deep learning we do have architectures. Similarly here also if I'll just talk about this not this one. Here you can clearly see, so just go to the Hugging Fist documentation, you will be easily able to find out that what is this model all about, right? What is the configuration of this particular model that we have? So you can go and directly study the detail about this. I'm not going in very much depth towards that. Even uh, the there is a, one specific list which I was looking for, but uh, I'm not getting that. Just give me a sec, if I will be able to get, then it would be great. Yeah, this is the list which I was referring to. So here you can see, right, these are the pre-trained models that we have. So different different architectures are there and for every architecture we will be having a shortcut name. For example, here what we are looking for is GPT-2 large. Here you can see right, 36 layer, 1280 hidden, 20 heads, 774 million parameters. So this is again a part of a pre-trained model that we are directly looking for, right? I hope it is making sense now. So just let me do one thing now. Let it run, let it run. So here you can see, right, download is happening. Now what I will do is that I will say model is equals to, I will just directly apply that particular model, GPT-2 LM head model from underscore pre-trained, okay. And here what we want is, we will mention the, again the architecture name, pre-trained architecture name is GPT-2 large that we are using here. And then we will mention Another parameter which we called as pad token ID, where we need to mention the end. So it will be tokenizer, tokenizer dot end of sentence token ID. Let it run. So now you will be able to understand that why we are doing these stuffs. If I'll just show you what is this state indicates, it just indicates the end of word. Let it run. So with the help of this model, you will see that how we will be able to generate the, you know, text by giving a small word automatically, it will be able to generate a proper text upfront. So it will take some time, but definitely it will do the task. I just want to show you that, uh, you know, if I write some, some particular, uh, you know, sentence here. So what particular IDs it will be able to generate? For example, here, if, if you will see end of token ID is 50256. If I just show you that, what is this indicates, what I need to do is that I just need to mention, I believe decode function. Let me just do one thing here. Let me just copy this and I'll say uh, tokenizer dot decode and here this is what we have. Now here you can see what is this representing end of text, right? Now once this is done, uh, what I want to show you here mainly, for example, I'll say sentences I love reading 
novels okay this is the sentence that i have and i want to check what is the numeric ids corresponding to that so how will i check i will say tokenizer dot decode is the function that we have because we already define it right we already have called our pre trained model now what i'll say i'll take the sentence that i have and i'll take i want that return tensors will be in the form of a pytorch tensor so it will be pt if i'll just display now uh okay it is showing some error tokenizer dot encode i want to encode not decode okay let's see now right it will be encoded now so i have encoded my sentence to the numeric ids let's see what we will be able to get let me just copy it out and just paste it out here can you see can you see 40 so when whenever we are passing our sentence to any of the model our model will not able to understand the character context first of all it will convert that into a numeric number which you can now clearly see right if suppose i'll show you the decoding part of that now we can call this decoder actually decoder means that we want that particular word again so if i'll just want to show you that what is that indicate so i'll say numeric numeric ids suppose i'll write Zero zero. Let's see what we will be able to decode. What this zero forty indicates? I right. If I'll say zero two, do mention me what it indicates. Let's see. Reading right. Zero one. What it indicates? Love. Zero three. What it indicates? Novels. so we have for every word a numeric id right now what we want is so the very first task is done where we want to convert our sentences into the tokens that is the you know token id we will be able to get now what we want is we want to generate the text we want to generate the text given the sentence okay so that is the real thing that we want to do here so what 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 we will do is that we will say result is equals to here we need to call one function model dot generate and here what we will do we will call our numeric ids and uh what is the maximum length of your sentence that you want to generate maybe i am mentioning as of now 100 only now here i am passing few parameters i'll talk about these parameters number of beams equals to 5 and maybe uh, i am passing num no repeat n gram size is equals to 2 and the early stopping as equals to 2 here now let it run and meanwhile i'll talk about what i am writing here so as you can see first of all i am writing here numeric ids that we have just now generated right this is the id that we have because on the upcoming part with respect to this sentence i want that what should be the next sentence that, that i have after that i am writing maximum length of a sentence will be 100 now this particular thing is pretty much important to understand number of beams so this indicates that you know overall consider the five topmost probabilities that we will be able to have and out of that consider the superior one right so here i just want to give you one demonstration uh, let me just open it out so with the help of one graph you will be able to understand what i am saying here so here what i will do is meanwhile this is running i'll try to create one uh, you know neural network here try to understand the context here what i want to display for example here we will be having the word as the 
and then we will be having three words corresponding to that one is dog another one is nice and the third one is car so i am referring one blog here just to represent the diagram now the probability that the dog will come uh, given that the is 0.4 the probability that nice will come given the is maybe 0.5 probability that car will come given the is 0.1 now if i am further referring this i will be having maybe three more words with the different different probabilities here here as well as here here suppose the nice suppose i am talking about guy i am talking about the nice woman i am talking about the nice you know girl and everyone has having a different different probability like 0.4 0.3 and 0.3 and here the dog here i will be having a probability like and runs gather something like that and having a different different probability like 0.5 or uh, 0.05 0.9 and 0.05 now when i am saying that the number of beans the number of beans is equal to 2 what does that indicates that i'll try to consider initially what is the highest probability nice but i will not skip the second one second highest probability which is dog so as of now nice is the first priority where the probability is 0.5 given the and dog is having a second prob second priority where the dog uh, probability of dog given the is 0.4 so i'll take two at a time and will calculate what is the higher probability at the very end now i will move for move ahead now if you will see the dog runs the total probability is 0.36 in this case 0.4 multiply 0.9 which is 0.36 but here if i will say the nice and after that maybe the higher probabilities of women so the total probability in this particular case is 0.5 into 0.4 which is only 0.2 it means that overall this particular statement will win so this is the real meaning of number of beams that we will consider 2 to in case and then which is which server is ultimately having a higher probability that will be the text generating sentence further so this is something which plays a very important role and in this way we will be able to get the sentence as well now if you can see we will be able to get the numeric ids but obviously we will not able to understand what this indicates we need to decode these so what i will do is that i'll say uh decoded or i would say generated text is something which is equals to tokenizer dot decode and what we want to decode is result of zero and what we want is it will skip some special tokens if it have uh skip underscore special underscore tokens which is equals to true done now if i'll just print the generated text let's see what we will be able to get here nice we will be able to generate the text now i love reading novels this was the word or the sentence or the tokens that i gave to the model and now it will be able to give to me but i don't like uh, to read them in the same room with other people i'm not sure why maybe it's because i have always been a bit of loner or maybe i just like reading in my own little corner of the world whatever the reason i find it hard to get into a room full of people and read a book i have been reading a lot lately though and i can't help but notice that i have see how amazing beautifully it will be able to give me the text right it's like it's like someone uh, you know a real person is speaking out to me but it's just a game of a data set on which it is already trained and now when i am giving a sentence it is giving me a proper generated text here i hope that you know you will be able to get the insight the real game is that you should know how you know beautifully the probability concept the conditional probability concept is working here and uh, how the you know structure of decoder structure of transformer is been designed so that 
this is how the amazing results we will be able to get and that's why i feel that you know uh, this nlp domain is quite fascinating for example you are you are writing a novel and automated aut automated you know text is coming up that okay this is the next line you can write it out and maximum time you will observe that this is so true right i at least this is what i feel so with this i just want to end this video i hope that you find this video really insightful if you have any sort of doubt i know that here i have covered up on a you know upper broader shell i i have not you know gone towards the architecture part uh because i consider that as a prerequisite it's a kind of a implementation kind of videos which i used to generate but uh, very soon i'll also talk about the conceptual understand understanding of the same but uh, a lot of students are requesting towards implementation part more and that's the only reason i'm you know uploading a lot of project based implementation videos and for those who already are aware about little bit the concepts of gpt2 transformer and text generation they will find this particular part also quite insightful if you still have any sort of doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll for sure try to resolve it as soon as possible with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone and i'll see you all in my next upcoming videos